This indicator says a Bitcoin price of 235k in 2025. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, wearing a very beautiful special cap, guys. Check this one over there, check it over there, even check the back. Can you see it? My name over there, Didi. This one is handmade by Elliot aus Deutschland from Germany. Elliot sent me this as a gift, uh, I think out of appreciation what I'm doing in Bitcoin and everything, uh, the videos, he likes them. He even made me a, a beautiful drawing, guys, a Bitcoin Batman, guys, a Bitcoin Batman. And of course, on the back, a text, but I will keep that text. Uh, private, nah, I don't need to keep private. He's very happy with it. He's giving me the cap and he hopes I'm wearing it now and then. I'm wearing it now and maybe also then, Guys, in today's video, guys, amazing news, of course, amazing charts, of course, and of course, an inspirational quote to give you a beautiful start of the day. Let's quickly jump into the news first. Bam. And I said amazing news, but what I meant to say is, um, I have a question, <laughs> something completely different. Maybe it's because of the special head. I still need to get used to it. But guys, uh, believe me, this question is a very important question. Why is voting for presidents or political parties not done on the blockchain? We all know that the blockchain is the perfect technology to vote on. Because then the votes that are being done can never be changed. So what you do with voting on the blockchain is you fight against all of the fake votes all of the illegal votes, all of the corruption votes. So that is, of course, also directly the answer. That is why we don't vote on the blockchain, because our politicians don't want a very honest voting system. They need a voting system of which they can change the votes or add votes or take away votes. Why? Because they are corrupt. They need a corrupt voting system. If they were a very honest government, they would just introduce voting on the blockchain. And you can only vote if you show a passport of that country, and then you vote, and you can only vote once, and you can't change that vote anymore. And then that vote is done. And then in the end, we all collectively, worldwide, in a very transparent way, can see which votes win. Most votes for Trump, ah, we can see. Most votes for Kamala, ah, we can see. Most votes for whatever president or king or government political party there is in the world, yes, completely transparent on the blockchain. So I still don't understand that we have this beautiful technology that we can all use, but we're not using it for one of the most important things in the world, to vote for those people that have control on our lives. Time is the most important asset of our lives. And if time is the most important asset, I want to be able to vote on those people that have partly control on that time. And I want that voting to be done in a very honest, transparent, unbreakable, unhackable way. So that's on the blockchain. So that's my question for today to you guys. Why do you think that voting is not happening on the blockchain yet? In our new community, the ddbambam.me community, voting will be done on the blockchain. And every vote will count. And most votes win whatever is proposed. And that proposal will be introduced then into the ddbambam.me community. That is how it works in our small community, but also in my opinion, how it should work in the big time communities, the world the governments, the countries. What is so difficult about that? I think I know what is so difficult about that. Because if they would introduce voting on the blockchain, they would also give the possibility for peaceful anarchy to exist. And that's exactly what I stand for. Bitcoin, blockchain, peaceful anarchy. This one and this one together is the most powerful tool to change the world. Because what if we could worldwide vote on certain proposals? On proposals that have to do with the collective world, not just with the country, with everything. What if we could all collectively do proposals and vote? And then 
live together in a very peaceful and acoustic way. Do you believe that this is possible? Let me know down below. Now let's jump into the charts because I really have some awesome charts for you guys. And let me know, do you like my new cap? I love the cap. Blue, orange, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, all Bitcoin. And yes, guys, this is where we arrived at the first chart. The first chart of the day is a one hour chart. Why the one hour chart? Because I wanted to take profit yesterday and, and I did take profit. When did I take profit? Exactly when that sell signal started to appear over there and we saw candles closing down below the yellow stepping line. That was when I didn't feel comfortable anymore to stay in my trade. That's when I took profit. I think it was 29.8%. You can see it here in the screen over there. That's where you can see it. A beautiful moment to take profit. That doesn't mean I don't think we can go higher. But you know, profit is profit. Like I always say, you never need to be afraid to take profits. Nobody ever got poor of taking profits. So sometimes you just take profits, you move on to the next trade because there will always be another trade. And it looks to me that we now are going slowly towards that green line again here and, and try to find 67, 600 ish. If you hold that support, that's so beautiful. If not, then we can fall back to that uh, 65, 66K level again to retest it and then move on again. Um, again, I will wait for my next entry and for the next trade and I will share it with the VFP group, of course. On the weekly, we can see we are still fighting really hard against that green line. This candle is going to close in three days and 23 hours. I'm lying. We are a little bit above the green line. The green line is 66,849. We are now at 67,844, so we are like 1K above it. If this candle closes above it, that is very bullish, guys. That means that the next candle will open above that green line. And if we then are able to keep those candles above this green line, uh, in the next week, that would be really bullish because if you look back into the previous bull markets, and I need to switch into my longer Bitcoin chart over there. Um, if we look back into this previous bull markets, look this green line from this moment that we go above it here after the COVID crash, that green line stays below us until we break it. And that's again, bam, the start of the bear market. Let's go a little bit more back where the chart is a little bit cleaner even here in 2017. Look. The moment we went above that green line over there, that's the moment we stay above the green line. Here, a wick down below it, but we stay above it. Even there, are two candles a little bit into it, but look how support that green line shows. Until we break that green line, and that's the bear market. But that's why I tell you every time again and again, and also now and then use the other chart, um, because it's like not that much data on it, but that green line that we just are fighting at the moment is a very important line in the bull markets. We need to get above it, stay above it, and that would be very, very bullish. Just like that cross was bullish, just like that first green thing here on the bottom, the bar there is becoming bullish and the RSI turning up also bullish. Talking about the RSI, I have some more amazing charts to show you now, because there's, there is one indicator that's telling us that we will go to 230,000 US dollar per Bitcoin in 2025. And which chart is that? This chart is the first one. This is, yes, the RSI. And we can see a cup and handle in the RSI. The RSI is telling us we could even end up at 235,000 US dollar, guys. Now look, this bottom part of the chart is the RSI. And we can see on the RSI that if you look very like closely, you can see like it's almost a cup and handle playing out. So we have the cup, and we have a handle, and then we explosively move. So every time in the bear market, cup, handle, explosive move. So this was the shake out dump, but this was the COVID crash, I think, in 2020. But this is a pattern that we can see repeating. Now again, look, that cup, a wider cup, a wider handle, but look to the price, same thing happening, the shake out, and then we will take it on. We will rip off from this price and level here and we will go to that 90k level and higher, guys. This is insane. This is beautiful to see this confluence in these charts, these patterns every time repeating each other, every cycle again, again, again. It's almost too simple, too simple to understand. Here is another chart on the RSI also showing you the same. Let me see my face. Yes, this one is also showing you. Look, this is the target. If you take a trend line from the RSI's, that circle is a target. In the circle is the target. We could hit the line, we could go above the line, and we could stay a little bit below the line. 
But this is the upward move in the RSI that still needs to happen. That upward move could easily lead to a 220K or 235K, some people, the opinion is different. But all of them say this move in the RSI on this chart could easily lead to above 200K Bitcoin price. As you all know, I am a little bit more cautious. I am saying 120 to 160,000 US dollar is already a very beautiful top for the Bitcoin bull market in 2025. But if it is up to the RSI, yes, 200K plus will be reached in 2025. Amazing charts again, guys. Let's jump into the next part of the video. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, short term, that was an amazing trade. I closed my trade, I closed that long because I went to bed and I had very busy meetings and everything. I didn't want to be disturbed by the trade anymore, so I just took profit. It was uh, around 29% in profit, so that's a beautiful profit in the last uh, two days of trading, guys, uh, with just one trade. And yes, of course, that's a percentage. And of course, I'm not going to share the USDT or the Bitcoin value because, of course, that's a very beautiful value. I can go and have a small party again this weekend <laughs> let's say like that a beautiful trade but beautiful profits and you know i am never afraid to close a trade why because there will always be a new trade coming by just like trains there will always be a new train passing by there will always also be a new trade so never be afraid to take profits nobody ever got poor of taking profits don't doubt take your profits be happy get into this positive vibe and open a new trade again to take new profits. Don't try to be too greedy and to get the maximum profit out of a trade. Profit is profit. You don't get poor of taking profits. And, and of course, guys, for the long term, amazing. October has started, up November will follow, up December will follow, and we didn't see any quarter in a bull market before, like all the previous bull markets, October, November, December, there was not one of them it had a growth of less than 50%. 50%, so that we started 60K plus 30K, we end up at 90K. There was not one of them that had a growth smaller than that. All of them were bigger than 50% in those three months. That's why I told you, do dollar cost average in around these levels between 50 and 60K, because before you know it, we will double your capital now, let's see how far we will take it all the way to Christmas, but it's very positive that, that we have started to go up again. Now let's break that 70K level before the end of October. That would be amazing. Give this already some thumbs up. Maybe that will help pushing Bitcoin up, guys. Now let's jump into the last part of the video. Before I jump into the last part of the video, um, I get a shitload of questions if I can talk about altcoins. So what I did now in our new VOP group, the DD Bam Bam group, in that group, I will do altcoin fundamental analysis every two weeks or every month. So at the moment, I created a very beautiful one for Chainlink and also, of course, for Ethereum, the two most important ones, I think, at the moment, when it comes to my altcoin portfolio. Um, they are already in the VIP group. So if you want to uh, analyze them, you need to become a VIP member and you can see how I very beautifully, like with uh, two pages, disclose to you why I think it's very important for you guys to buy into Chainlink, for example. So the crypto tip for today is check Chainlink. And if you want to know more, become part of the ddbambam.me community and you will get all of these analyzers for free, guys, because you became a VIP member. And then a quote, guys, to end this video. Worry does never rob its sorrow from tomorrow. It does rob all the joy for today. Think about that. Maybe you need to pause the video. Worry does not rob its sorrow from tomorrow, but it does rob the joy for today. Because if you worry today, you don't change tomorrow. You're only changing that you're not joyful today. I think that's why this song exists. Don't worry, be happy. You know that song? That's exactly what you should be. You should not be worrying, you should be happy. Because worrying is not going to take away the sorrow of tomorrow. Because tomorrow, maybe they will still be sorry if you're still worrying today. And maybe you will be worrying tomorrow again. Stop worrying today and start being happy today. That's the joyful thing you can do. It's all about you. You get up, you determine what kind of day it will be. If you get up in this mindset, ah, this day is such a shitty day. I don't want to live this day. I, yeah, could this day pass by really quickly? 
Yes, your day will be filled with that beautiful negative energy. If you start your day happy, whatever it needs for you to become happy in the morning, if it's silent meditation, or it's appreciation meditation, just appreciating everything it is, or if it is watching a comedian in the morning, or if, or if it is listening to a song, don't worry, be happy. Whatever it is you need in the morning to become very happy directly from the start, do that. Just do that. Don't give the negative energy any space in your life. Just don't let it ruin your day. Just start with some happy thoughts. Start with a happy song. Start of watching my video and try to laugh now and then. Start of watching a comedian, whatever it is, to become happy. Don't go scrolling into it. Don't go scrolling into your Instagram and see how happy all the other people we are, because that won't make you happy. If you start to compare your life in the morning to all those perfect lives on Instagram or whatever platform you use, that is not making you happy. That is not making you happy. That's making them happy. Why? Because if you look at their videos a lot, they make a shitload of money and they will become more happy. That should not be your way or medium to become happy in the morning. Do what makes you happy in the morning. Not looking at the other ones. First 10 minutes, whatever it is, meditation, yoga, watching the video, listening to music, whatever it is, do that first. It will change your complete day. And the result will probably be that you won't be worrying. So yes, tomorrow there won't be sorrow. And yes, today there will be joy. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed my new cap. I will turn around again to show you my beautiful DD sign over there. Uh, if you did enjoy my cap and the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about the question I ask you about voting, and yes, also, what do you think, of course, about the inspirational quote? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Thursday. Yes, today I will go to Muay Thai. That's why it's a short video. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your Thursday as well and see you tomorrow again on Friday. Probably we'll do a live AMA tomorrow evening in English and Saturday in Dutch and Sunday maybe I will be taking a day off. So that's my weekend. Bam!